if you only look outside of yourself for what the industry says success should be, it's gonna feel like this thing that feels unattainable. Hey, hey, it's Christine Horn and welcome back to another Motivation Monday. Oh man, I am so excited for this week and I hope that you are too. You know, today I wanna talk about defining success and what that means for you. You know, sometimes it's really easy to fall into the trap of compare and despair, looking at other other actors, other artists, and thinking that there is one way to be successful. Success only looks like an Oscar, or only looks like an Emmy or a Tony Award, and that's the farthest thing from the truth. You know, I think in all these years I've been doing this, success has changed for me, like what it what it looks like changed, you know, what I thought success would be or making it would be when I was 15 changed when I was in my 20s and changed again in my 30s and just changed as I adjusted which medium I was working in when I was doing regional theater and Broadway, success looked like one thing and it just keeps changing. And I wanna just speak into your spirit today just to allow yourself that space and that room to define success on your own terms. So what does that mean? That means today, I want you to take a few minutes, 30 minutes maybe, while you're driving, walking, daydreaming at work, at your nine to five, whatever it is, maybe you're on set today, but really think about right now, right now in my life, at this stage, what would success look like to me now? Now. And ask yourself maybe what success looked like to you 10 years ago or when you first started acting, because I know everyone is starting and working at this in a different stage. And get clear, because you know, I find that I'm, when I'm asking myself this, I don't always have the answer. And I really have to be like, do some introspective work and, and I'm like, okay, well, what do I want next? Or whose career inspires me? Not makes me jealous or envious, but whose career inspires me, right? And they may, this person may not look like you, right? They may not even be your age range, but maybe just something about the way that you've seen the way they've approached their career or the types of roles they've had a chance to play or the impact they're making with their art. Like figure what that is, because the reason why I wanna say this is success has to be on your terms, right? And understand that it's something that you just get to create for yourself. A win is a win for you. Because you could slip up if you only look outside of yourself for what the industry says success should be. It's gonna feel like this thing that feels unattainable. Sometimes even some of our family members or friends or cousins, even if they're well-meaning, they have a vision of success in their mind for you. <laughs> and that's unfair because how are you supposed to live up to that? So unless you work with a specific director or do a, or on a specific show, they may not even calculate or really give you credit for the work that you have been doing. Because you may be doing a local theater show or you may be doing a short film or a film that got into Sundance or the Tribeca Film Festival and your family never had a chance to see it. So as far as they're concerned, it doesn't exist. So that means you're not even working. And that can be hard to take on. I, you know, I coach so many actors from around the world and I hear the same stories. And you know, some are extremely blessed to have people who are supporting them no matter what. And some are feeling isolated and alone. And so I'm here to tell you today, before you go about your day, that you get to define this. And it's okay if you change your mind. And it's okay if success starts to look different. It's okay. But you got to know what you're working towards. You have to know when you've won. You have to know and understand that success will keep changing the bar. The bar will keep elevating, right? So just because you, once you reach a certain goal, you're going to set new goals and that's normal, right? So there's this all should always be this feeling of um, staying hungry and staying thirsty and eager to learn more and be more and do more. But also let's not negate the work we have done so that you can say, I'm a success right now, right here. Why? Because I'm showing up for myself. I'm, I'm going for my dream. You know how many people don't even go for their dream? And I'm doing that. So I'm a success right now, and as are you. 
So I want to send you good, good energy for an amazing week ahead. Miracles are happening now. There's so many amazing things happening right now that you don't even know that are being put together for your benefit, for your good. And it, oh, it's so exciting. So really hold on to that. Know that good things are coming. Have faith in that. But more importantly, have faith in yourself. Define success for yourself and celebrate your wins along the way. I'm Christine Horn, The Book and Magnet. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.